it's a life-changing piece, The Bells, to hear a chorus and an orchestra singing together this in really dramatic, romantic music, being led by Vladimir Verbitsky. I mean, this is the heartland for this guy. He conducts Russian repertoire like no one else. The chorus are singing in a foreign language for them. <laughs> Learning Russian is a challenge. Uh, the Russian that we learn is not the Cyrillic, it's an alliteration of that. So there's usually about six consonants and one vowel in every single word, and you've got to focus on the vowel. So, it's, it's that type of music. Russian music is uh, so emotional. You might not be sure what you're singing, but you know, the type of... Uh, our composition makes you feel as if you know it means something to you. We've got about 100 singers up there at the moment. There's three soloists, a tenor, a soprano and a baritone soloist. And the piece goes for about 35 minutes. And the chorus sings throughout most of the work. And in particular in the third movement, it's all about them. Well, it's a wonderful celebration of our conductor laureate, Vladimir Vivitsky, um, presenting uh, a grand Russian program with Rachmaninoff's uh, The Bells, one of Rachmaninoff's favourite pieces of music, and an opportunity for people to see you know, what Russian music can do to inspire you. It's on the 7th and 8th of July at the Perth Concert Hall at 7.30, and I think you'll absolutely be blown away. Oh,